Welcome back to The Adventures of Chris and Mike. In this episode, we're going to be visiting the historic Fort Meade Museum in Sturgis, South Dakota. Join us now as my good friend Chuck Rambo takes us on a tour of the historic Fort Meade Museum. The Fort Meade complex is established by the command of Captain Benteen and Major Reno after the Battle of the Little Bighorn. In 1876, of course, Custer launched an attack on the Indian camp without provocation on the part of the, the Indians. And uh, Reno and his immediate command, of course, of approximately 240 men are wiped out. Um, Benteen and Reno hold out four miles distant on what is known as Reno Hill. We have a picture on the wall here of some of the survivors, the Lakota survivors of the Little Bighorn Battle, the picture taken in 1948, 72 years after the Little Bighorn Battle. There are two, four, six, eight, nine of the survivors uh, one of the rather famous Lakota is not in that picture. He was ill at that moment, a fellow by the name of Nicholas Black Elk, who was responsible for the book Black Elk Speaks, one of the first books which describes the uh, Native American spirituality. The last of the survivors is a gentleman by the name of Dewey Beard. Dewey died in 1955, not that far back. And we have the clothing that Dewey was wearing in 1948 in our museum in the case on the uh, mannequin. Probably our earliest artifact in the museum is a petroglyph, which the Cheyennes say is a part of their heritage. The petroglyph uh, stone with uh, carvings on it comes from just the other side of Bear Butte Creek the fort is on the south side of Bear Butte Creek, and the Cheyenne typically camped on the north side of Bear Butte Creek, approximately three miles distant from their sacred mountain, which they called Nawas, which is now today known as Bear Butte. It's there that the Cheyenne received maybe 2,000 years ago the Four Commandments. You must not kill, you must not steal, you must not commit adultery, you must not marry within your own family and receive the four sacred arrows, the arrows which are the last of the cultural articles received from the Mejio, from the Creator, by the Cheyenne. The four sacred arrows today are kept in Oklahoma. The Cheyenne tell us, though, that this rock was probably a focus used by the tribe, by the priest called the Masum priest, the priest who spoke to the animals the priest who called the animals to the people for the purpose of hunting. On the stone, you see a bird on the left carrying what appears to be a bow. And on the extreme right, on the stone, you see a bird which is carrying what appears to be an arrow, which suggests that hunting motive. And it would be appropriate if that stone were still in place on the north side of Bearview Creek. Unfortunately, some local high school kids many years ago uh, rolled it off the hill into the back of a pickup truck and took it home. And uh, the Cheyenne agree that this is probably the safer place for it. On the stone, you see white man sage. Uh, the white sage is used to smudge, to drive off any negative energy or negative spirits that might be in the area. It's a protection for the stone. And immediately above the stone, you have the golden eagle, the eagle that nests at Bear Butte, the eagle that is the sacred bird of the Cheyenne people. Stay tuned for more episodes of The Adventures of Chris and Mike as we continue our tour with Chuck Rambo at the historic Fort Meade Museum. And please subscribe to my channel.